So, um, we're out here at Canyonlands, and uh, you can see the nice canyon behind me. Now, creationists would tell you that during Noah's flood, the great global flood, all of this would have been created instantly over the 40 days or whatnot that it rained and it stormed and all that kind of good shit. I'm here to tell you that that's not true. <laughs> I know that most of you already don't think this, but for the religious people out there, I want you to point out in the process of all of this developing, where does God come up? It, it seems to me like God is not necessary. First, there's deposition where the environment lays down sediments through a process known as lithification. Each environment lays down a layer of sediment, and each uh, subsequent layer of sediment compresses, heats up, and cements in, turning these sedimentary layers into rock layers. That takes millions and millions of years. And then what we have is an uplift uh, period where the land through a bunch of different geological pressures and geological processes uplift the land over millions and millions of years. Canyon lands here, all the layers that we see now have been laid down over a process that reaches back 300 million years. Although carving out, which I'll explain next, the carving out of the canyon lands only occurred recently within the past 5 million years. The way that these canyons are carved out is through uh, water and wind erosion. Water percolates over all of the mountains and everything like that, and it, through frost wedging and other erosion processes, stuff is carved out. Again, I'm kind of curious in this entire poorly explained explanation of how all of this is formed, where is God? I don't know.